Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I am just finishing up using a new palette. And uh, the shadows in here are just not great this morning. So, um, yeah, just finishing up a new palette. Palette 5. Testing it out on my eyes. But that's not what I want to talk about this morning. I just had to share that real quick because, yeah, I'm loving loving this halo look that I did first time doing a halo look I've seen it but um I never really tried it so anyways guys just a quick message this morning good morning to who's on I can't really see who it is but um good morning so that's not what I want to talk to you about I just wanted to I listen was listening to a motivational um video this morning um, of Les Brown, love Les Brown, you know, and he said just to ask yourself, you know, are you living your best life? Are you living the life that you've always wanted to live? Have you accomplished things that you've been wanting to do? And if you haven't, then what is stopping you from doing that? Why are you not doing the things that you've always wanted in your life? And one, what are you going to do to get started? What do you need to do to get started? Start thinking about those things, um, making goals for yourself and actually putting action towards those goals and focusing on those. You know, whatever you focus on and you continue to focus on comes forth in your life. Um, when you focus on, you know, the good and the and all the wonderful things in life and the things that you want in life, that is what comes to you. But when you start to focus on the negative too much and um, that's all that is in your mind and you think about, oh, I can't do this. Oh, I'm never going to be able to do this. That is what's going to come to you, unfortunately, because you're putting that out there and um, you're making those beliefs for yourself. So when you start to actually believe in <clears throat> what you want and believe that it's happening for you, um, and focus on those things. If you have something small, something in your mind that's just negative, in just a few minutes, you have to just take, you have to take it away. You have to um, challenge it with something that you want, something good to get those negative thoughts out of your mind. Then what else? He said, don't determine what you're capable of by your current situation. So, you know, your current situation, maybe you just don't have um, the money right now to do what you want. But don't determine what you're capable of because of that situation, because that's not where you can be. You need to start challenging yourself and challenge, challenging yourself um, to face the unknown, challenging yourself to face your fears, because that is what is going to help you get to where you want to be in life. You have to overcome those obstacles. We get so um, caught up in uh, thinking that what we have is where we should be, and that's it. We don't challenge our <coughs> excuse me. We don't challenge ourselves, and we um, believe that you know we're not capable of doing any more than where we're at because we're familiar with it, because we are um, so used to these things happening in our lives that we think that that's all that there is for us. When really there's not, if you just challenge yourself to do something that you've never done before, to face the fears that you've um, that have been stopping you to grow yourself, the only way that you will grow is when you start to challenge yourself and when you start to do things that are hard for you, and you're not just um, giving in to what is easy. You know, we settle and we shouldn't settle. We settle because it's easy for us, so we think. Right. But just like what it is, it's um, use more muscles in your face to frown than you do to smile. That's the same way. Once you continue to challenge yourself, then those things will start to get easier for you that you're challenging yourself with. Then you have to start to find more things, you know, to do to challenge yourself because those things became easy and you start to master those things. So that is my word for this morning. I have to get going. We have things to do. It's always got to get ready for school. And I got to get ready for work. So have a blessed day, everybody. I hope you guys enjoy your day. I am wearing an addiction palette. 
uh, number five. And um, also, I'm wearing my favorite lip stain. And I'm sorry, lip stain. And this is in Skittish. It's one of my faves, the pink lip stain in Skittish. And then I've used my lovable lip gloss over it. So that's what I am wearing today. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Hey, Benjamin. Thanks for watching. And um, have a blessed day. Bye.